Right, welcome to Heritage Farm. Um, might have noticed on the intro we have some new equipment. We'll go through that. I'm um, just going to flash forward to here first because I've got several thank yous on this video and I'm going to do those now so people who don't watch the whole video uh, and get a mention uh, won't miss it. Uh, well, first of all, I'm going to. This is the Spud Harvester. I remember the one we used last time? Well, this is an updated version, which I have to thank IAIKK for linking me to it. Thank you very much indeed. It's just what I need. It's the Anna, it's the same thing, but it's a lot better. I have played with it on a test map, and it works as I want. It's, I think it's slightly narrow um, harvest width, but it's only 0.2 of a metre, which, frankly... On the, when you talk about between 0 0.8 and, and 1 meter, it is minimal. But this one actually has the little man on there, sorting the spuds out as they come over. When we get round to it, or uh, we can see it in operation. So, thank you again, AAAKK. Much appreciated, mate. Very kind of you indeed. Now, next one uh, is this beast, which you saw me open with. Now this was from Eustace far Farmer. Um, he saw on, I think it's the old ridge where I was on uh, Justin's farm, I was using the uh, classic pack version of this, which has got a cab on. This one hasn't, but it has got, let me just hop out so we like this, now if I remember which one it is, Keyboard four is it? Ah, because I remember it doesn't work. Cab won't go on and off when you've got a tool attached. But the yeah, it's not so much cab as you have a cover. So what we do is just drop that down, and I'll just hop out and unhook it. It's unhooked. No, if we press keyboard four, we have a nice little awning which is quite prototypical of the 30s and 40s on tractors. It wouldn't protect you if you rolled it over, so it's not actually a protection, but that's rather nice. Um, it looks nice, it sounds nice, and it seems to work. It just lift, put that back on, and I'll just lift that up again. It hasn't got a great turn circle, but if you look at it, it's not really a surprise. It's a V8, and it's 150 brake horse, but it's about the right era. Now, to get that, I've actually got rid of the Duke's D30, I think D30 it was, the uh, classic pack one. I also got rid of the Oliver. The Oliver, I love the tractor, but I just ain't using it. And uh, I want one powerful tractor off roughly the right period, rather than keep using the front load of the thing, so um, so I've got this and thank you again Eustace very kind of you indeed, and also I, I will mention that Eustace has a very good YouTube channel uh, the link is actually in my recommended videos, so if you look down the side when you finish watching this you see my recommended videos Eustace Farmer is in there and he is brilliant uh, give him a look, give him a like, if you subscribe, just tell him I sent you. Uh, he's gave me a very nice mention, but this isn't the reason I'm mentioning him in this, because uh, I happen to like his videos. I, I, wa I watched a couple of three so far, and they are excellent. And when I get a chance, I shall be watching some more. Anyway, that's what we've got there. Uh, last person, what, oh, he, oh, he's also got a Facebook channel, but you pick that up from his YouTube channel, the uh, links for that. And I'm going to mention one other, and that's Little Grey Fergie. Another guy who's a member of, a member of this uh, community, also has his own channel, does slightly longer videos, and uh, he does things what look like correctly, and he plays, he makes YouTube videos as a hobby, same as I do. Not want anything out of it at all, except the sheer and his love of uh, farming sim. So give uh, Little Grey Fergie, also on my recommended list, give him a look. If you like what you see, 
and you decide to subscribe, and why shouldn't you? Just tell him, tell him I, tell him I sent you. So I think. Oh, he also has a, a Facebook uh, page. Also, that should be linked from his U, uh, YouTube channel. Right. With that, with all the thank yous and that out of the way, let's uh, look at what we're actually going to do today. Right. Today. Oh, one other thing. We have extra. I decided I'm going to go back to using the uh, fermenting silage silo. It's going to be easier than using this. I, and I don't think this has got a collision on. No, it hasn't, so that's not in the way. And I pushed it as far back as I can. This is on the uh, milk farm, the dairy. I decided to go over to that. But what we're going to do today is feed the animals. Um, I think we'll start off doing a little bit of this. This may be a longish video. Uh, quite a bit to do, but we'll start off by emptying out the uh, oh, getting out at least one load of this using this lovely front loader. I do love using this. I've got to put some straw in the cattle as well. Uh, I think the sheep are okay, they're not too bad off. But we are getting short of, of straw and uh, silage and grass in the uh, dairy, so we we need to do some of that. And if we get time, I will probably do a little bit of uh, cultivating. I'm going to do most of that off screen. I decide off the next three fields. If you're looking forward to seeing it, you will see some. I will do a little every so often on screen. But the last two, I'm going to do those fully on screen. The beet and the uh, potatoes. The potatoes especially. Because, uh, we, you haven't seen, and I haven't really seen the uh, potato plant of working as yet. So I want to have a look at that. And, and to everybody, uh, I wish to thank you all for subscribing. I uh, reached 200 a little while ago, by the time you see it's been about a couple of weeks ago. I am amazed, pleased, and I hate to say proud, that I've reached 200. I will tell you now, I'm happy. If one person watches a video, I'm perfectly happy. But if I get a like, I get even happy. I'm not worried about fame and fortune and the rest of it. I do this because I enjoy doing it. And some of them, like the uh, <coughs> Old Ridge series, I do it because I've got a story inside of me. I, I, and I have to get it out. I'm not a writer. In fact, if you ever saw my handwriting and my spelling, you will understand why I'm not a writer. But I just love telling stories. It's an old Norfolk thing that we, we are born to a uh, storytellers. You hear about the Irish, but an old Norfolk boy can spin a yarn as well as anybody in the world. And we like to wind people up too, but uh, there's another story. So, so thank you all for your support. And if anybody else has got a YouTube channel they wish to have promoted I will have a look at it. If it's my type of thing, I will certainly give you a mention. If I really like it, I'll show it on my recommended list. If I don't like it, or if that's not my style, I won't say anything. I'm, I'm not here to dish people, to put people down. But I have no problem with send me messages, either in the open comments box or in a private message on YouTube. I'm perfectly happy with that. It will. And I will, as soon as I get a chance, I will have a look. I can't promise to do it straight away. But, uh, I, I have a life to lead as well, believe it or not. Which is one of the reasons I cut down the number of videos I've done. And when 17 come out, I'm going to cut down even further because the uh, it is a uh, bit of a bond. I don't want to get to the stage where 
I feel I must be making a video. I haven't got one to go out. I must make one. I want to carry on making because I enjoy making them. No other reason. Which is one of the reasons I cut down from seven days a week now down to five because it was getting to be like a job. And I don't want that feeling. Oh, and I think it comes over when you make them if you're doing them because you feel you have to do them. I'll let you into a little secret. My YouTube watching is mainly on smaller channels. I find that some of the bigger channels have got to the point now where even some I started watching when they were still a small channel and enjoyed and now chasing subscribers, chasing likes, chasing views and you, you lose what was there in the first place on it is now full. We'll just uh, put the brake on there and go and start this one up. And I hope never to get to that stage. Well, I don't think I ever will because I never have enough subscribers. And the fact they don't monetize my own videos. Isn't I don't need the money. We all need the money, but uh, that's just put that in the top, that's better. But I don't feel I, I have to. And yes, making videos is expensive. You can do it with all the free gear in the world, but you do need a decent computer. I have, for example, upgraded my computer because it wasn't quick enough really for making videos at good enough quality. I've upgraded that from a 660 GTX 660 graphics card through to a 970. Would I have done it if I wasn't making YouTube videos? Well, I wouldn't have done it uh, last, or well, this last year for certain. I would have done it at some point, but not this last year. I'm also considering uh, upgrading some of the other gear here. One of the things I, I would love is a second monitor. Uh, be handy when I'm playing around with mods and uh, such like just to be able to slide things across from one monitor to another so you've got more room up. But mainly when I make the videos a number of times and, and you don't know how many times I've done this I have pressed the play on the uh, audio mainly, or the city, or the city, and uh, found I have forgotten. I I had it in pause. Now you get to the end of a thirty or forty minute video. It's not funny. I'll do one more try to load in there. I think, and we'll go and get some straw across. I need to get, do some grass too, but uh, we may do that next time. And Chad would like to see me cut a full metal with a sickle mower, speed it up. Well, I don't do speed it up, um, basically, but I will maybe do one where I cut and, uh, a bit and cut and shut the uh, video a bit just to uh, get the full thing in 30 minutes of, of cut that main metal but I'm also gonna cheat on that main metal at times yes I cheat I'm gonna magic in a big M mower and get get that ah uh, done quickly I won't do that on screen that is certainly off screen but that's a little secret the stuff that goes on behind the scenes which you don't see and one of the things I've always been proud of I don't too many edits on my videos. When something goes wrong, you see it. You know damn well I've gone the wrong way yet again. I hit something yet again. Um, there's one video about a YouTuber. Well, I quite like his videos, except that every time you see he's about to hit something, there's a cut. And you can see it as clear as daylight. Something is a, he's about to run into something. Now that I don't like, I like seeing, if something goes wrong, it goes wrong. It doesn't make me less of a man because uh, I 
just uh, running through a bus shelter. Well, I always reckon when I run to a bus shelter, it's because all those pedestrians and that and people waiting for the bus are hiding the shelter from me. Just think about it. I'd love to see when something goes wrong, and I've got a, a Lulu coming up on, I think it's the uh, Getting Dressed series. I think it's the next one to go up. And we, by now, you will already have seen it by the time you're watching this, because uh, that would have gone up. But that was the Lulu, so I might as well mention the Class 4 AE I had. I set it on Auto Combine. And for some reason, Auto Combine had a brainstorm. As it has now and again. Normally, it has it one brainstorm right at the start of the session, then it's fine. Well, it had this brainstorm, decided to go off course and uh, try and jump the uh, fence. Now, Combine is not best known for its jumping abilities, shall we say. It was so funny when I came back and I saw that thing. Yeah, now that is in the full thing, including me having to reset the combine because there's no way I can get it off the fence. And that's what I like. I, I like seeing warts and all videos. So you can understand if you're someone who uh, it's obvious you're about to run into something and uh, magically the next scene you missed it. I am not going to uh, recommend you, but if you're someone who, and I don't mean go deliberately out to try and wreck things, I mean it just happens, it happens to us all in gameplay. I don't know anybody yet who, who have played and not made a mistake. A little story, uh, I used to play, I used to be actually leader of a clan uh, uh, playing enemy territory. It's a long story I got to be leader, which I'm not going to go into now. But we had one very good player in the clan, excellent. And, but uh, he did make one or two silly errors. Like uh, I think, if I remember right, he bought, he uh, he sent in an airstrike, only he sent it on top of himself. Just as we we're about to win the round. We lost the round, but he disappeared. He just he just rage quit. Didn't matter. I wasn't worried. The rest of the team weren't really worried, but the, the, this guy was. Right, that'll do for there. Well, we get another put this other load in here, and it should keep us going for a day or two. I'm gonna just. Uh, Pull up uh, before I do anything else. I'm just going to pull that up to see how much we've got in there. Uh, new for the sheep art. See, sheep are 81%, so they're fine. Soon be a wolf pal up there, almost at the halfway there. Uh, you can see the silage is only 12%, grass is also low, but I think we can get away with that for a little while. Let's put the brake on. There's no water to worry about on these because there is no water. I can't do mixed rations, so I've got no way of doing mixed rations on this uh, farm. Ration mixes, well, basically, if you wanted a, a ration, you'd buy it from a, an animal feed mill. I could always put um, something in which uh, is a byproduct of T TMR, but I don't think I'm going to bother. I think we actually we're caught up on something behind us. I went to move forward a bit more here. Looks like I have to back off when we're done. Oh, we're now 15%. That would do. We're nowhere near full on there, but I'll try and do some more of this off screen. Topping these up. We're going to get some straw in next. I'm just going to put this out of the way. I think I'll bung this up here. We need straw in there if you. Look, we're, well, we're not too bad on straw, but I want to move some of that straw. So we're just, uh, 
go across this one. This is a bit, a bit cheeky. I apologise for that, but uh, I am bad on bales at the best of times, and I'm very bad on these ones. This should be on auto load, I hope. Ignore all the gaps between the bales. Have we got three on there? Let's have a look. Yeah, ignore those gaps between the bales. You can't see them. They're not there. How am I trying to kill? I'll just get rid of this again now for now. So I've got the map to go by. That's the front of the track. <laughs> there we are. <sighs> That was the other side, that's where I was going to put the beet, and I'm going to put bales around, but I put them on the other little bit of grass, that's not beet potatoes. I think I might have a beet in that bit. I'm going to have to find somewhere to put the uh, beet and potatoes. Uh, I'm not going to use the stores. When I grew up, it was all, they were all kept outside and put in what they call a clamp which was basically some straw bales uh, in a in a sort of half square you know two sides in the back beet or potatoes whichever put in there bales put on top and earth on top of that and that was your clamp and that kept the stuff excellent well, both you didn't need to keep that long. I hope I haven't gone too far. I think I have. I'm going to back up. I'm going to put this in here now. I'm going to, I'm going to bring this up again now so I can see how much we've got. Now I need Z if I remember correctly. Yes. Then I'm going to hop out and spread these bales. I should have the bales spread. We have mod in here and that's took straw up to 80 percent i think these three will do it yes up to 90 percent mm. oh why not go and get some more come on let's guess let's be a devil and get some more take that down because that takes up not a large amount of the uh, screen space Come on, Daisy. Good before Buttercup comes in. Then I think we'll finish off for um, 20 minutes or so. No, I'll do another. No. I'll do the straw, then I'll do another load of uh, silage. And then we will go and do 10 minutes or so of cultivating using the, the new tractor. Now I'm not even going to try and pronounce the manufacturer. I know what my pronunciation is like. And I'm, I've got to as much chance of, of uh, getting the name right as I have winning Miss World. And even if I was female, I wouldn't stand a chance of winning Miss World. Alright, let's get these done. I seem to have done a hell of a lot of talking today. I uh, probably haven't been too boring. But I'm going to give the thanks again, now as I'm thinking about it, to AAAKK for the link to the uh, potato harvester. Uh, Eustace Farmer for his link to the tractor and for giving me an excellent mention on his uh, YouTube uh, video uh, and a very kind words too and I'm going to I'm going to see if I, he will allow me to cut the words out and put those in my channel ID for new uh, possible new subscribers that should put them off, I've got an old stilt. I need to bring all these straw bales here and get them off that grass, but I'm not going to do it today. I'm not going to 
put you through all that today. Oh. Now I should have cut it there and uh, then I'd have done, come back with me just driving inside. Um, that's it. Didn't want, didn't want to let go first time. Should really bring this up. Um, it's there we. Oh, we're we're full. We don't want that last one. We can't take that last one anyway. So we're we're back off. Right, we should pick it up when we go forward into it. I'll have a look for this food. Oh, we, we ain't dropped it, us boys. Well, I ain't gonna hold it like that. Just check there's not a lock on here, I don't think so. Now, what I do is, if I remember right, that makes it drop it. And uh, because it's gone through the roof, uh, which done a hell of a lot of good. Now we're back up, I've done this from massive distance. Now we'll try coming into it again. Let's see if it all just... Yeah, we got it again, right. And we've got that bile there, we'll just put that out of the way over here. Whoa. I am a bad, bad driver and I... Uh, Readily admit it, I'm the same, I'm afraid, on the road. I am not a good driver. Alright, I'll just drop this, I'll just park this whole lot over there. Get out and get back to this one, get rid of this there now. Now we're about another, try and get another load in there, one more load of silage. We still need to do some grass but we'll I'll try and do that next week uh, just want to up that to fifth that's it and away we go again so one more load here come down the side yeah seems quite quiet after the Belarus Uh, if my voice went up a bit higher whilst I was using that, that's just because it is quite noisy and uh, I've got it in my ears, but uh, it's probably a bit stupid because you won't, you won't have uh, noticed that because I will quieten everything down to a reasonable level when I edit this. Well, edit, I say. It's basically, I will just uh, make the sound up with the pictures slap on me uh, uh, credits to uh, PCSG Keep that again. and me uh, screenshot and that's the point of me a screenshot uh, well, this, is, this should be as good as any Let's just set that out Come over to one side so I can see what I'm doing. I'll keep the uh, soil mod in it because I'm quite proud of the fact I've got soil mod in it. <laughs> Pride comes before the fall, they say. And we've got the shot. Hopefully, it should be a shot of that. Uh, tipping into the thing over. Uh, no H. Couldn't for, couldn't for the life of me remember what the key combination was again. Well, we've got loads on there, that's better. Certainly don't want loads on this. Yeah, what we do is we fill this up, we can go and empty this off again, and then we'll do a couple of three passes, car right, and you might as well have a look at the. Uh, the beast running. Now, my old mate uh, Disco used to call 
that uh, John Deere used the beast. Oh, I don't think it's as much a beast as what I've got. There. Not for its age. I um, would probably use both, both the fermented soil and the bunk. It depends what I'm doing. I must probably put some of the maize into the bunker and grass into the side, uh, silo. I haven't decided yet. It's big, it's a bit too big really, but uh, I could get into the XML, I should imagine, and uh, cut its capacity quite a bit. I don't think I'm going to bother getting a little bit too, uh, too much. I've already done that with one or two bits of machinery on here. I could have done it with the potato harvester, but I'm going to leave a, I think it's a ton and a half at hold. That doesn't seem too bad for the, the, the time along. My plant is only holding, uh, let's get this right, half a ton now. It was holding a ton, when I cut that to half a ton. I'm not a martyr, but I, I'm a fiddler. I fiddle with things. Sometimes I regret fiddling with things, especially when they stop working. Uh, as I know, as I told you, this, uh, I'm on old ridge. I mod modded the uh, host uh, nine series uh, cedars I've got. I'm using on there, which are converts from FS13 which someone had done but I want to use red seed with them seeds too so I found a crop right bit put it in wouldn't work tried it in still wouldn't work then I realized I put red seed to no s singular and it should be red seeds with an s multiple and I was the best part of the day going in and out of Notepad++ plus, plus, in and out of the game to see what whether what I'd done had fixed it and it was a simple spe spelling error and that reminds me I've got some drink up here it was hot when I started but I don't know what it is now mm. no it's not too bad actually it's meant to be hot chocolate, but it's sort of lukewarm chocolate now. But I do like this. I do love this uh, front loader. I love to have this system on some of the other tractors. You know, as they quite often were as an aftermarket bit. I think they must be getting fairly full now. But even I can't mess up loading with this. That's it, that's full. Oh. Drive this into the bunker. Out of the way. I shouldn't want it for anything else for a while. Just put the fork down. Shut it off. So that's the big bucket. There's two buckets going with that. That one only does a very limited amount of goods, whereas the uh, smaller bucket does just about everything. Well, that's four and a half tons loaded. And I'm, I'm converting the uh, literage in the tons, probably not correctly because it's all sort of to confirm them, it's all sort of do with temperature. I remember my uh, days working it with such things right. now I need to get some grass in the other side but this should now in theory uh, all I could do is one more but it looks all right. that would do us 19% that would do uh, we've got eight percent manure, but it's just about one load in the spreader, so it's not enough yet. Right, 
works on work. Park is back where it had it before. Oh dear. Go on. They seem to be queuing up for food. It must be feeding time. <laughs> I'm now getting right excited about FS17. I know I've mentioned this on several videos. But I really am looking forward to, to that. When it first announced, I'll oh, just be 15, uh, 15 plus a bit. But it looks like it could be a lot more. Uh, wrong one. This one. Get into the cab. Get the engine started. And I like the way that your lights work. Everything seems to work on here. What you you know, the things you'd expect to be working. It also, of course, the way I'm driving this over already cultivated land, caused massive amount of uh, compaction. Which will be an issue in 17, what I understand, uh, if I read the reports right. Or not, be more accurate if Discus read the reports right and uh, reported them right in this video. <laughs> right, let's drop that down. Oh. Down. Yeah, that's down. Now, I haven't really sorted out how close I need to be with this tractor. That looks like it's alright. Get the mud guard roughly in line with the bit we're done. Now here I want to try and go straight here so I straight the, straighten this edge off a bit. I'll do a couple of free rolls of this and uh, I'm going to finish most of cultivating off the screen. We'll come back with a seed and I'll take on to this. Oh, must probably be four if I don't get a chance to do much else here. We've gone past it. You wouldn't really want it. You wouldn't um, do this like this. I'm going to go down the end here. Do everything completely wrong. Oh, and I didn't show you one or two other little tricks with this, which was the, uh, let's find out which they are, because I only just said this, I haven't really learnt, I don't know, what's that, uh, six, six, oh, of course, you can't do anything, because uh, unless you've got the, uh, stuff off, which is fair enough, and that's a realistic in the, in, Side ca uh, camera, but nothing works unless once you've got implants on. I forgot that. But as you can see, the the rev can and the speed all both seem, seem to be working, which is rather nice. Well, it's a small thing, but. Uh, a lot of uh, models get over that not by having the dials will work, but by having a little digital display. This is actually using a proper display. I'm not certain how many of those little lights in there work. Oh, I missed the whole load there. We'll go back and do that bit. That sounds nice too. It sounds as got a lot of ponies under its belt. Yeah, I missed a whole load there, so I'm going to go back and just redo that. Yes, I... <laughs> yes, I, I am impressed. <laughs> I know I said I didn't want any links to any more tractors, but if they're this quality, and I'm not worried on this map whether they get dirty or not, because uh, I've got no way to wash them until it rains. So you see the steer is quite bad, the steer and cir uh, circle, but that's the guy that was quite accurate. 
I know I want to see if any of those other little lights in that display, but I haven't tried any of those. All I did was got this on, downloaded it, got it on, and just uh, dumped it into the fold, into the heritage folder, tried it on my uh, test map, it worked, and that's good enough for me. Well, there's no no error, errors as far as I can see. There's a couple of warnings, but I think that is for stuff I've messed about with, not on this, but on other things. And I think we missed a bit back here. I, I seem to notice a green patch. We might just finish off. I've been trying to see what else works on here. We know we've got a light, a green light in the uh, display. I'm not certain what's wrong. I'm going to just drop this down here. Somewhere down there, I know it's a little patch of green. I'm going to cultivate up behind me because I'm driving over this. I know compaction isn't a thing on 15, but it will be on 17. Yeah, that's got it. And you could say I'm getting ready, huh? And the toilet text are there because it's not map original, it's one I've added. I think it's the Jean Bilg toil, uh, soil texture. I think I got the dark, I think I picked the dark brown. Or a brown, anyway. I can't remember exactly which one it was. And sounds weed textures are not standard to soil mod on here, they are. Don't know where I picked them up from, but I've been shoving those into uh, soil mod on my maps for a long time now. I just got fed up with the standard ones that looked a bit near. These look, these look quite nice. I don't mind seeing these. Looks a bit like cow parsley, but isn't. Uh, I think it's meant to be dandelions. Have a look. Yeah, they're dandelions. 2D dandelions, but the dandelions not. S oh, it's, there's the stuff you can flick those seed pods with. Uh, I forget what it's called now. That's, yep, the same. Not a good set of weeds. Oh yeah, what I'm going to do is drop the top. I'm going to see if anything else works in that uh, display. We've got a green light there now. I've got a feeling that might be a limp or some type. Let's just lift that up. Back this off. And isn't coming on at the moment. Uh, let's see what happens when I put the lights on. Ah, uh, no thing there. The only thing I don't like about this, I'll be honest, is the beam, is the lights. They don't look as good as a lot of models. Can't even see the back ones are working. Don't look like they are. No driver, uh, no working lights, of course, on this. Brake lights work. I take it. Indicator. Is it? Oh yeah, front of the mud guard. Yeah, and indicators work. I'm gonna take it. Hazard warnings work. So if you're going down the road, you'd use hazard warning because there's no beacons on this. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna quit here because quit what I'm winning. Um, before I go, I'm gonna give a final. Uh, thank you to. A A A K K, uh, useless farm, and have a make sure you have a look at his uh, YouTube channel and little grey Fergie. Have a look at his YouTube channel, both of which are on my re recommended list. Would you, if you hunt around the front of the uh, channel page, you will find it. So I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like. If you didn't like what you see. 
you can leave a dislike if you wish, but uh, I'd rather you just didn't put anything in, but uh, that's just me. So far, I haven't had many dislikes. I'm not certain how I could deal with them. I didn't feel, I'm a great breakdown. You see me crying in the corner. Nobody likes me. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, you can part of this channel by some uh, means or another, and you surprisingly like what you saw, I could put up with my rambling. Um, please consider subscribing, that way you will be notified every time I put a video up, which at the moment is five days a week. But be warned when 17 drops at first, it won't probably go down to four, possibly even three days a week. With it. I have another idea for a series. But that doesn't involve farming. Uh, involve, involve. That doesn't involve farming. Which may not be to all your tastes. But. I. Put on what I'd like to do. What I'm, well, within reason. And uh, as long as the highest commission low. I think it's the highest commission one that you. Uh, from my American friends. Used to be in charge of uh, censorship and such like. Oh, I missed a lot here. Oh, look at this. The trouble with our seed is a non direct drill, and I'm not going to confirm direct, direct drill, which, if I remember right, is just uh, a toggle inside the XML file. I'm not going to do that. And I'm going to cheat here by going out and trying to swing around onto this bit. It actually works quite well when you got any speed. Anyway, with that is me and saying uh, cheerio for now. Cheerio and thank you all very much indeed. Much appreciated. You're all wonderful. Well, oh God, I'm going to sound like a Hollywood starlet now. Uh, oh, cheerio all.